so my name is Samuel Leeds. Let me tell you something. You do not need deposits to buy houses. Most people think you've got to save up loads of money, buy a house, rent it out. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can acquire properties using a strategy called lease option agreements. I've done dozens and dozens of these myself. My students are now doing these and you can do it too. So do me a favor, before I show you around this house and before you see exactly how this has been structured and financed, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a future video. Let's go around, have a look and I'll show you what's what. So this is a big old house in Huddersfield, and this was actually acquired by one of my students, JL Spooner, who I'm gonna introduce you to. How's it going, JL? Hi, how are you? So this property, like, just give me an idea, if you were to have bought this property just the traditional way, mm -hmm. how much money, I mean, what's the property worth right now? 290,000. Okay, so you did about 25%, mm -hmm. so that's gonna be 25 grand approximately per 100. So you're gonna have 25, 50, so, so you're gonna get about 75 grand, mm -hmm. plus legals, yep. plus stamp duty. So realistically, to buy a house like this, you're gonna need about 100,000 pounds cash. Yes. How much money did you put into this house? Well, I didn't have to put down a deposit or stamp duty. I did pay a few months rent up front. So I all, to, all in all, I put about £6,000 into the property. Which you paid for via? Through sourcing properties. So I actually got it through sourcing uh, properties and then I used that money to to pay for this place. So, so let me get this right. So you packaged, you found some deals, not this house, mm -hmm. but you found some other houses, mm -hmm. negotiated them, yes. sold them to investors, yes. Did that a few times, made six thousand yeah. pounds. You then use that six thousand pounds to acquire this property. Mm -hmm. Now this is not rent to rent. No. You're actually on the on the on the title deeds, not as an owner, but as someone who has the option to buy it. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, we're going to talk you through exactly how this works, how it's structured. But firstly, do you want to give us a little tour? So this property then. So we did have a lot of reception rooms, a lot of bedrooms. Um, but what JL's done is she's turned the reception rooms like this. This was a sitting room, but now <laughs> it's a bedroom. And, and JL, tell me, how do you turn a reception room into a bedroom? You put a bed in it. Right. <laughs> so this was a reception room. It had a chair and stuff like that when you when you took it on. Yeah. And, and all of the reception rooms, you're you've just turned into bedrooms. I literally have. By putting beds in them. So that's not, and to, you've not spent a ton of money on this stuff. No, everything I've spent can actually be removed. So right. yeah. I've what just, do you mean by that? I've just spent on furniture. Right. Literally just furniture. So the house is already in good condition when you took it on. Yes. Yeah. And uh, another interesting thing is this is a lease option agreement. We wouldn't, we don't, we don't advise that you spend loads of money on a lease option agreement, mm -hmm. do we? Mm -hmm. Gen if it's a residential house, generally speaking. So okay, talk to me about how many. You've just got this, but how many rooms are you going to rent out immediately? So immediately I'm going to be renting out four rooms because I've had to obviously get a license, I've yes. had to get uh, HMO planning as well for a HMO. Um, so at the moment I could only rent out four of the rooms. Why four rooms? Because that's legal. Right. Yeah. So, so to rent out, if you're renting out HMO and you want to rent out four rooms, assuming it's not in an Article 4 area, you don't need a license to do that, you don't need planning to do that. So what JL's doing is she's immediately renting out to four people get to get some in. rent coming in, yeah. get the money in. Yeah. But then she's going to be applying for planning permission, which That's you right. need if yeah. there's how many bedrooms or more? Uh, if there's seven bedrooms. Seven or more. bedrooms or more. Yeah. If there's more than four, you need a license, you're going to need both. I'm going to need both. So you're going to apply for planning, you're going to apply yeah. for license, but in the meantime, money. Yes, 100%. Love it. Yeah, so this property is going to cash flow me immediately. Right. But of course, once I get planning, it's going to be like super profitable. Right. So to begin with, day one, you're going to make a bit of money. Mm -hmm. But then once you've got the planning and licensing, it's going to make you a lot of money. That's How much cash flow? By cash flow, we mean monthly profit after all expenditures. Are you expected to make, uh, you know, once it's completely done, you've got planning, you've done everything. How much cash flow? The, the, the net amount should be a healthy £3,000. Three grand a month? Yeah, net, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Did you hear that? £3,000 yeah. a month, right? That That's financial freedom. So tell me a little, like, backstory. How did this all kind of get started? Okay, so originally, I think it was about, gosh, seven years ago now, plus, um, I went to a crash course yeah. and I learned about financial freedom. 
Um, and it took me a few years to get my head around it, but eventually I became financially free. At the time, you had nothing. No, I started, I actually started, I think I, when I went to your course, I was actually on benefits in my council house. Right. So I had no, I was in debt, I had no money whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and then I came to your course uh, and learned about financial freedom, which is what you were training um, at the time, and became financially free a few years um, from then. And then, yeah, I touched base with you when your crash course obviously blew up substantially. And um, yeah, you gave me the cha good, cha healthy challenge to become a millionaire. And this now, is jail's on the academy and is close to becoming a millionaire. Yes. Property millionaire, but you want to be a net millionaire. Yes, yes. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so this property has already gone on the market. We've got like literally a whole load of viewings on Saturday. Jail, so if you know JL, she's good at getting tenants quick. It's my thing. So this has my been thing. on the market just a few days and you've got how many viewings? Five. Five viewings. Yeah. This is gonna rent out so quick. There's four rooms that, that we need to rent out so far, so yeah. And I like this. Yeah. The yeah, character. character. I know yeah. we left the books, we just thought it looks nice. It does, yeah. it does. I really like it. I'd live here, rooms are big, there's character, house is great. One of the rooms that are going to be rented out first. Yeah, right. Nice. Good. So again, this property is in pretty decent condition. You've furnished it. You've not gone high, high end. No, I haven't. I've gone quite. On how, much, how much does this furniture cost? Oh God, you're testing me now, Samuel. Um, I think this whole room was probably about four hundred. Okay, four hundred pounds. Yeah. Okay, so you. Decent, not yeah. not really cheap, but it looks nice. But I mean, that's wardrobe, desk, chair, yeah. bed, side table, and decoration and light. So what what I really want to know, okay, and I think what these guys want to know is you've got this property. What does that mean? Got? Do you own it? How have you structured it? What is a lease option agreement? How can we get a lease option agreement? Tell me everything. I mean, it's really simple. I initially came to this property because I wanted to buy it, but I ended up buying my house in Huddersfield instead. Right, so you, so, so basically, sorry to cut you, but, but we've all got a limited amount of money. Yeah. Right? So people might think, I don't need a free house on a lease option agreement. I've got 100 grand. But that's going to run out. Absolutely. And it did run out on my house. You right. know what I mean? So I needed... Um, another lead, but I actually, because obviously you, you, I had the academy, I'm constantly going back to it because it's like a toolbox. I'm able to see what strategy works right. for my next evolution, where I am next. Now I knew I put a lot of money into Greenhead, into Huddersfield, but I still wanted more things to do. Right. So I ended up trying to get this as a rent to rent because I saw it up on the market for rent. And again, rent to rent, for anyone who doesn't know, is when you, you would pay the landlady yeah. a guaranteed rent, yeah maybe a, a thousand pounds, mm -hmm. you might rent it for 4,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. That leaves you with 3,000. You might have to pay a thousand pounds on bills, management, yep. but then you're left with 2,000 pounds a month, clean profit. Yes. That's rent to rent, but you don't own it. That's right. And That's I right. told you specifically. Well, you said, JL, look, try to focus on, you've done rent to rent, you've yeah. done that, and you've yeah. done it well, and it's, it's what bought you your That's council house. That's what helped house. you become financially It's great. what helped you get to where you are today. But then you said, you know, focus on bigger things. But this opportunity was here. The landlady really wanted somebody to take it over. After doing a little calculation and knowing that I had to get planning application, I needed to get a new boiler, I needed to get, you know, do up the house. I knew I would have had to put quite a lot of money into the property. Six grand. It's quite a big house. Six, Six grand, grand plus, you know, everything else that comes with it, you know, right. doing it up and, you know, things like that. So it would have been too much for me to have just done a rent to rent for a couple of years anyway. Right. So I then went back to the course, went back to the toolbox and realized, okay, well, let me suggest telling her that I'm gonna buy it in seven years time. Well, that went down the tree. It worked for both of us. Right. Like it, she actually didn't want to sell it because she wants to pay down her mortgage. So she just said to me, look, pay me 1,500 per month. Yeah, which is very cheap. Which is amazing. Yeah. Which is amazing. And, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't want anything to do with it. I just, just pay me every month. So it's right. You're paying 1,500, mm -hmm. but then you're gonna rent the rooms out and mm -hmm. then you're gonna get planning and you're gonna make a nice profit of about three grand a month, all being well, mm -hmm. a month. But then on top of that, you've got the option to buy it. Absolutely. In how many years time? Seven years. For how much? For the, the agreed price, 290,000. But it's worth 290,000 now. Yes. 
So in seven years, yeah, it will probably be worth a lot more. Yeah, yeah. So if Just, it's, if it, I mean, we are splitting capital appreciation 50-50. Fair. But I think that's fair. Yeah. And I thought it was it was attractive. So let me let me let me say something really interesting. Okay, when you buy a house as an investment, you buy a house for two reasons. Okay, number one is to get rent. Number two is to gain from capital appreciation on the house. That's the only two reasons you buy an investment house for. Now, what Jael's done is she's getting capital appreciation from this house and she's getting rent from this house, but she didn't need to invest a deposit into the house. Because normally to buy a house, you've got to invest a deposit. So what Jael's done using lease option agreement strategy is she's agreed a monthly fee, she's going to get cash flow. She's agreed an amount to pay down the line but if the property goes up in, in value, which it probably will, she's going to get 50% of the capital appreciation. And all JL needed to put down to get this property was legal fees, a bit of furniture, a little bit of rent up front, but I guess you're going to get that back. You're going to get that back, so, yeah, So absolutely. it's like, why would you buy a house? Why would you save up and put a deposit down when you don't have to? So because JL's learned these strategies, Instead of just buying one house, which the first house was her council house, yes. or two or three or four, she can now buy an unlimited amount of houses, which is why now she's a property millionaire, which is why now she's going to become a cash millionaire very soon. Yes. 100%. So I'm stoked. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's unbelievable. You would think that it's not possible. I remember watching your YouTube clips and sitting there like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go out on a quest and try and find all these properties. And watching you secure lease option agreements, testimonies about securing lease option agreements, and I just thought to myself, how would someone, why would they give up their house? But it makes so much sense. Yeah. That when I think about the landlady and the fact that she wants her rent to go down, she wants her mortgage to go down, she doesn't want a headache. And being a landlord, I get it as well. Like, it's no headache for her. I get to manage it, I get to profit off of it. But then also being a landlord now, when I'm buying properties, I'm realizing I wouldn't mind somebody taking on my house and yeah. giving me a guaranteed uh, set amount of money that I didn't have to worry about whether tenants come or go. Yeah. I get that now, but I didn't get it before, yeah. before this journey. So lease option agreements are super possible, super possible. What were you saying to somebody that was watching this that was thinking, I want to do a lease option agreement. I want to start buying lots of houses. I haven't necessarily got the capital to start up. How do I follow in your footsteps? Oh my goodness. I think the best advice Samuel's ever given me, and actually I was speaking to my mum about this the other day. Um, the best advice he's given me is get out there. Yeah. Like, get out there. Like, you don't know. You don't know until you go and see all the properties and view all the properties. You do not know what's going to fall on your lap. This fell on my, this, this was viewed such a long time before it was actually purchased. So I would just say, go for it. You, you can secure lease options. You can secure rent to rent. You can find development projects. You can find amazing HMOs and add value to them. Like, it's all for the taking, but you have to go out there. You can educate yourself, but if you don't go out there and actually physically do the work, yeah, that's the so, biggest thing. So in other words, then. stop just watching YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? And actually get amongst people. Meet yes. people. View properties. Come to the crash course. You, you came to the crash course in 2014. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You know? What would you say to someone thinking about coming to the crash? You were the first ever person. I was, okay, okay guys, I was the first ever person at this crash course, okay? This is what makes me so motivated and so gassed, okay? Because I was the first person at the crash course like seven years ago and there was eight of us in the room, literally, and there was, Samuel was on a laptop okay like teaching us about financial freedom all right there wasn't all these courses or anything it was just about financial freedom and years later after i became financially free i went to that same crash course but instead of being eight of us there's like 800 people a thousand people a thousand people in the room and a massive screen with the same teachings but on a bigger screen with more information man that's the biggest drive for me because i've seen his growth so if you are looking to go to the crash course, honest to God, your life will change so long as you believe it, so long as you put the education, the work into it, and you're confident and ready to go, the crash course, the courses will guide you to the next level, um, next part of your evolution. It definitely did. I, my life has changed. My life has changed, literally. And you, you know what? Let me tell you something. The Property Investor Crash Course, I'm going to be teaching lease option agreements. So maybe you'll see JL there. JL tends to come down to the crash courses, yeah. rocks up. You know, what's your strongest reason for doing this? Always my son. Um, absolutely my son. Um, but then my second strongest thing is people, is 
is is giving people the tools and the being an example for people to yeah. be able to be financially free and to be able to be comfortable and just right. live a good life. Right, so live a good life for your son to not only help and inspire your son, but you mentioned about to be able to inspire other people. 100%. And let me tell you something, that's why I do this. People say, Sammy, if, you, if you're making millions of pounds in property, doing lease option agreements on land and making 100 grand there, 100 grand there, all the Why you keep doing YouTube videos telling everybody? Well, it's because actually part of my mission, part of my joy and part of my satisfaction is seeing people like JL and others. I mean, I've interviewed hundreds of people on my channel who have become financially free from the exact same training that JL's done. So that's part of my satisfaction. It's great to do business with JL. And uh, I hope to see you real soon on the crash course. So get booked on, don't hesitate, get booked on. Link in the description and I'll personally see you there. Final words of wisdom? Never give up. Yeah, never give up, love that. All right guys, peace out, subscribe, I'll see you real soon. So our first rent -to -rent -to. I've got the keys. It's controlled by one of my students, namely Tom. Tom is how old are you Tom? He's 18 years old. These shops, these shops here, there's apartments above them. These apartments are big. They've got multiple rooms. And that means that we can do rent to rent on those rooms. I'm paying the landlord 575 for to control the property. Yeah. And then the rent that I'm getting a month comes to about 1,500 pounds. And above the commercial building, there's two blocks of flats that's all owned by the same landlord. And one of my students, Endrix, he's, he's actually secured this direct to landlord on a rent to rent basis. It'll be making him around about 1,900 pounds a month profit.